Welcome to this week's video. So, um, first of all, thank you for all the support for last week's video about Preview the pop-up app. This week, we're going to review another video as some of you have requested, Ava. Ava is another pop-up uh, Shopify app that we can use. So, I uh, just wanted to give you a behind the scenes look of how everything looks on that app. And enough talking, let's get to it, Ava. So contrary to Prevy, Ava is definitely a newcomer on the market. Uh, Ava looks like the most promising free targeted pop-up solution out there, if you ask us. And um, yeah, so as, as soon as you install it really, and you integrate it with Shopify, the app immediately takes you to the main dashboard. So the layout is, as you can see, very attractive and almost kind of modern, modernistic, if that's a word. Um, so yeah, everything looks good, clear. And even if you aren't experienced with using Ava, you kind of intuitively feel where you have to go, which is a huge up. Um, so let's say we want to create a new pop-up exit campaign, the classic campaign. So once you click on the new campaign button, your window appears asking you to either go with a smart setup or choose from a pre-existing template library, which you really saves you some, some time here. The pre-existing template library is literally just a library. The smart setup restricts your choices to just two to make it easier. It sounds like AI or something like that fancy, but it's pretty uh, straightforward. It's just two uh, existing templates chosen for you. So let's choose a smart setup for this one um, and then click on a simple pop-up. Now, as you can see, there's a range of pop-up positions to choose from. Um, but, 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 but for this one, because it's an exit pop-up, let's choose promotional testimonial. I don't know. Um, we'll choose the discount option we want to offer right here and then pop up again. We now want to choose where our pop-up will appear. Let's go with all the pages because we want to target visitors who are about to leave so let's go and select that right here so as you can see here ava really makes it easy for you to choose the purpose of your pop-up uh, as well as who is going to see it and where this is basically steps we went through so that's really a big advantage you have some uh, significantly space there to choose how each of those variables um, work together. Now let's have a look at the design engine. Click on choose your own design and let's start customizing the template we've selected by hitting that start building button. So after a few seconds, as you can see, the builder loads. And this is where um, things get really interesting because it is rather a very powerful design builder. So this is also where Ava calls their builder as simple to use as paint, but as powerful as show Photoshop. Um, sure, sure, let's <laughs> let's go with that marketing pitch. Um, the builder itself is indeed very easy to use, and it's true, it is fully customizable. You can play with different elements such as text, photos, icons, videos, shapes, until you're happy with your design. Um, just for sake of time, we're gonna stick with the existing one right here. So once your design is done, and this is really interesting, on the left right here, the second tab, uh, Ava lets you set up time, scroll, and click base triggers, and actually more than that even. Um, we're gonna go with an accent intent based, as we know, and we're gonna leave it at 50 pixel from the top of the page. There are other options in the builder, including targeting specific visitors, position, the pop-up, transition, which will determine how your pop-up appears and scheduling if you want to launch your own campaign at a later time. But so here you have all the options on this page. And I think that's really interesting. So in all very functional and easy to use builder, uh, once you've made all the changes and you set it up like you want, you can also duplicate the design for mobile, for example, which avoids you to have to go entirely new because remember, um, for mobile, it would be a little bit different. You can choose a different design here as well. Um, 
and then it also helps to do the duplication for a b tests uh yet again keep hammering on those a b tests but they're damn important people anyhow then you can save your design project and then if you go back you see the little radio button there uh a little switch there to activate it uh, you can toggle it on and off so the analytics from Ava though not as detailed as we want still offers some unique insights um, of course you can segment the data by visitor type device and specific time frame um, but you can also see the most popular countries your visitors are coming from exact device types and what time of the day they're accessing your site so not as complete as google analytics but still a, still pretty impressive um, another amazing feature is the recent activity feature right here which lets you see the most recent activities by individual users which definitely has some value to it so okay let's look at the support feature which is always super important when we're talking about apps um so the, the resources for the support are at hand they're vast and they have a thing called the ava academy and then it's the home of like tons of articles that will point you in the right directions um, in case you uh, have any troubles or just to get the most out of the app because it is pretty vast um, if you need answers to a particular problem they have a support team that works on weekdays and they're very responsive and they can help you via design chat um, where actually you can like play little games while you're waiting uh, or you can just give them a phone call or an email so um, yeah definitely a plus on, on their support there are only seven integrations available at the moment uh, with Ava but we're pretty confident they'll add more over time as we said this is a pretty newer player uh, in the app game for pop-ups though what's cool is you can export your Ava email captures directly from the app that's a, that's a plus another minor setback is that the traffic insights as we mentioned could be a bit more precise uh, but this in general can be overlooked and um, Google Analytics can be used instead the powerful and versatile design builder um, is definitely one of the best features as well as the advanced reporting um, there are more than enough to secure okay guys thanks so much i hope you enjoyed the video of ava uh, if you need any um questions or if you have any requests or anything about this app just leave it down below in the comments also don't forget to like subscribe and everything so that the internet knows this is good stuff um and uh, if you have any other shopify apps that you want us to review so you have a behind the scenes look and you don't have to install it let that know down there as well so we can do it and if you need any uh dev work for shopify we're your guys ecomexperts.io so thanks a lot and we'll see you next week for another shopify app review video cheers guys thanks